Monday, January 30th, 2017 is day one of our weekly schedule. Are you looking to make some extra money? Do you have formal wear to sell? If so, Richland High School is holding a consignment sale for students from all area schools. 70% of the selling price for your formal wear is given to you. Dresses can be dropped off February 4th from 10 to 1 and February 5th from 1 to 3 at Richland High School. If your dress does not sell, it can be picked up February 12th from 4 to 5. Red Hot t-shirts are being sold every day at lunch. The shirts are $10. Everyone who buys a shirt will be entered into a contest. Whoever's name is pulled at the end of the contest will win an Applebee's lunch with two other friends on Friday, February 10th. All money made from the Red Out events will benefit the American Heart Association. Today for lunch, we're having breakfast for lunch. Now, let's see what's in sports. What's up, Central Cambria? I'm Maddie. And I'm Riley. With, with your CC Sports, sports Report. <laughs> Congratulations to Max Mirren, Austin Washick, Isaac Thompson, Nate Martin, Caliber Castile, and John Croft for placing in the Thomas Chevrolet Wrestling Tournament. Congrats to our swimmers Chelsea Nowitzki, Kate Nowitzki, Izzy Miller, Connor Dubuque, Gil Cooper Gilkey, Cassie Gabrielson, Nate Coons, Kendra Fox, Megan Orange, Quentin Helsel, and Grace Gerlock for placing at the Somerset Invite over the weekend. Tonight in sports, there is a girls' varsity basketball game, home against BG, and a boys' and girls' swim meet, home against Richland. Go Red Devils! Good luck to all of our winter sports. And now, over to Hannah with the weather. Here comes the sun. Right now, it's 22 degrees, and it's supposed to get not that much warmer throughout the day, and we're supposed to get one to three inches of snow, so maybe we'll get out early. Back to you. Imagine all the people. Hello Central Cambria, I'm Emily. And I'm Nate. Here to guide you. Here are some words of wisdom. Move on. It's just a chapter in the past, but don't close the book, just turn the page. Happy birthday over the weekend to Lexi Peterman and Corey Jones. And happy birthday today to Danielle Hardstock. Now let's see what's trending today. Hello Central Cambria, I'm Brad. And I'm Gabe. And here's, and here's what's, what's trending. trending. A dog in Argentina that was being swept away by river rapids got a helping paw from a canine to save the day. Paw the dog on the high ground was able to snatch a helpless Labrador by clamping onto the branch in its mouth, pulling him to safety. Starbucks says it plans to hire 10,000 refugees over five years in the 75 countries where it does business. The refugee hiring proposal, Schultz wrote, will begin with a focus on the people who have served alongside United States troops. Now over to Make It Yourself Monday with Logan and Kate. Hi Central Cambria, it's Logan and Kate with Make It Yourself Monday again. Today we are making locker magnets. These are really, really easy to make and they're actually pretty inexpensive. Uh, what you need is um, some pebbles, which you can get at the dollar store for a dollar, of course. Um, some type of paper, doesn't really matter what you um, put in there, it just has to stick on. Some glue and some magnets. Now what you do is you take uh, like a little pebble like this and you put a little piece of paper, it could be decorative or non-decorative, and put it right in there and you glue it together. And once it's dry, you can use this and stick a magnet on it. And once that's done, it's a perfect magnet, magnet meant for your locker. Signing, Signing off from CCTV. CCTV. Have a great Monday, Central Cambria.